Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I am showing you what's inside this Artful subscription box. It is quite heavy. I kind of know what's in it because Artful has shown short videos on their social media of the content, but I tried not to pay too much attention to them. Artful is a new quarterly subscription box service founded by Odeer in the UK. Odeer sells mostly pretty stationery and art supplies. This is the third box they have sent out this year and my first box from them. A subscription costs £35 per quarter and an annual subscription costs £120, which saves you £20. They ship worldwide at an additional cost. And with this out of the way, let's check what's inside the box. Okay, so what's in this box? Here you can see what it says. Hey, we'd love to see what you can do with your box. Use the Artful hashtag and tag us at Artfulbox. We also host a daily drawing challenge on our Instagram and repost tagged work throughout the day on stories. Okay, I'm not sure if I will do this because I dare say it takes me a long time to make something out of this. So, and as I already had guessed in advance that this is going to be a lino cutting set. So we've got two colors um, of ink from, um, from SD, a nice large brayer, the actual cutting tool. And we've got these. I don't know what they're made of, vinyl or something. Uh, this is a size E5, I think. And um, it's got the smooth side and a rough side. I don't know actually which one you're supposed to cut into, so I have to look up. Uh, well, I have to look up the instructions really. So we also have this plastic sheet. Don't know what that's for. I'm sure we'll find out. And this is great. This is um, nice paper to print on. A4 25 sheets premium heavyweight cartridge paper. Specifically made for Artful. And that's almost it. And we also have a nice magazine which shows you actually how to do it because um, it's been a long time since I've done any lino printing. Actually I've done that at school when I was little and um, I managed to cut my hand pretty badly. Um, still got a scar here so I have to be super careful because I'm quite clumsy and I cut myself a lot. So, have a look at this. 112 pages. It's got some interviews with um, other artists and it's got... It's quite cute. Um, it's cat. Lots of cats. Oh, I like that already. have to read that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. Uh, lots to read, quite interesting artists, and that will keep me busy. And they have a, quite a big section of big section on how to actually make these prints, which is great because, as I said, I haven't done that in years or decades, more like, and I have to um, read up on it. So, this is great. I always wanted to do lino cutting, um, which is why I bought this set years ago. Um, hope you can see it. Hang on. 
you should be able to see it. This comes with 23 pieces and it was actually very cheap. Uh, it only comes with one um, color. But to be honest, when I start out, I will just use one color anyway. I won't uh, go, go crazy and use, use uh, two colors for my first print, I think. This also comes with a stamping tool. And this print I bought on Amazon years ago for about 20 quid, 20 pounds. Um, so if you don't want to subscribe to anything uh, but are interested in getting into lino cutting, this is a good way to do it. Um, and it's not that expensive and it's from the same company as this kit. So I've got two kits now but um, I also have smaller, um, I've got these smaller ones, um, lino, I don't know what you call them, lino sheets, uh, I think it's not even lino, it's, it, I think it's some sort of um, rubber or I don't know, can't remember. So I will do some testing there first, um, just get getting used to it. Um, yeah, so I will get reading before I do my first lino cut and show you later. And also um, Artful has actually created an instruction video, which I will check out for you um, to see what it's like, what they recommend, if they have some proper tutorials, if they are any good. Um, I hope they are. But this is a really nice uh, set. Um, don't ask me how much it, this would cost if you pay for this individually. I have no idea. I need to look that up. Um, so, I don't know. I might look it up later and see if I can find uh, individual prices. Okay, I will go and watch that video now. For this cutting exercise I am using one of my small linos which are also from SD, as I don't want to ruin the big ones. I might cut those to a smaller size though. The first plate you can see here is great for fine outlines. Then there are V-shapes in various sizes to create more detail and the U-shapes are great for cutting larger chunks out. My first impression when cutting into this lino is that it is far softer and easier to cut into than traditional lino which can be quite stiff. It's important not to cut too deep, otherwise you can get stuck or create a hole. It's better if you go in at an angle. It's also important to cut away from you so you don't cut yourself.
This is an interesting blade. It creates a shallow white line. As you can see, you can create a variety of lines for texture and detail with these blades. All blades have numbers, so you can make a note of each blade and add the number. Then you know which one to pick for your project. The lino has a rough and a smooth side, and according to SD you can use both sides. So I wanted to try the rough side. I think the smooth side is easier to cut into. I found this little bit of lino and used it as a reference guide. Cutting out numbers and characters is not easy. I will make a print of this later. As lino cutting takes time, especially for a beginner like me, I have spared you the footage of the process. I decided to use these two small square linos I already had and a rubber disc that was in my SD box. I first drew my sketch. And then I use tracing paper and a very soft pencil to trace the drawing. Then I place the tracing paper onto the lino like so. And then traced it again using a little bit of pressure. I then traced the pencil drawing with my permanent marker so I could see better where to cut. You can draw directly on the lino if you feel confident enough. Then I started cutting the first lino with a number 5 blade, which is this one. But it's very fine and you can barely see it. So instead I used the number 2, as number 1 is also very fine and I found it doesn't cut very well. Maybe I just got a blunt one. I also used the number 3 and 4 cutters for both bigger linos. For the stamp I only used number 1, 2 and 3. When I was cutting the seahorse I have noticed that I totally forgot to draw its dorsal fin. It's in my original sketch. However, given the small size I have been working with, it would have been rather difficult to cut. I will probably use the same motif again for a bigger version, which will be easier to cut. Which brings me to what I have learned during the cutting process. Don't use a small lino. Don't add too much detail. Details are very difficult to cut. Practice round shapes on a scrap piece. Cutting out round shapes is not easy. I will probably make a separate video on lino cutting once I get more experience. So with all the explanation out of the way, I am now trying to print these. For my test prints I am using normal printer paper and not the one that came with the Artful box. This tray came with my SD box and it is quite handy for rolling the ink. I'd rather use that than the acetate Artful has provided. 
that might come in handy for another project. As an alternative for rolling out your ink, you could also use a smooth tile. Working with ink is super messy, so make sure you have old clothes on or protect yourself with an apron. Let's check out the test liner first. Now let's try the seahorse. I am quite happy with the way it looks, even with the dorsal fin missing, but I think I will cut more off on the top. The bubbles definitely need to be rounder. My next one is the cat. This was not easy to cut and I made a few mistakes using the wrong blades.
As you can see, it needed a finer blade for the nose, and you can't really make out the fine ear hairs. I will try to make another cat face on a bigger piece of lino in the future. I have cut a bit more of the seahorse liner on the top and I think it looks better. And finally my cat stamp. I'm using just stamping ink for this. I don't have much hope for this one as I messed it up and it is impossible to add very fine detail on such a small space. It looks like a mess. I still have one disc left, so I will probably use it for a much simpler design. Simple is definitely the key to a decent lino cut in general. I will print a few more out and try to avoid ink stains. The soft cut linos, the roller and the tray can be cleaned with water. As you can see on these two pages, Artful provides information about the materials and the recommended retail price. In total it comes to £49.83. I had a look on Amazon to find identical or at least similar products and totting it up it came to about £43.75. Either way, this box presents good value for a subscription price of £35. Even though I already had a lino cutting set, I was not disappointed with this Artful box. I haven't tried the paper yet, but will use it for future projects. This box actually gave me the opportunity to rediscover the art of lino cutting. It's always handy to have some spare blades and if I want to use more than one color, another brayer is also very useful. I also really like the magazine. It's full of inspiration and the interviews with the various artists are interesting. It also has tips on how to get started and it smells nice. It will be interesting to see what the videos will show that come with this box. The three lino sheets that I included in this box will certainly keep subscribers busy for a while as lino cutting takes time and concentration. I'm still amazed I didn't cut myself. This box also has given me an idea for a future video. Speaking of video, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, until next time.